To perform a Q-angle exam, you would first enter the posture analysis screen as normal and bring in an A to P picture You notice on this picture we have marked the tibial tuberosity with a different colored dot. This is so it won't interfere with any auto detect exam that you may perform. So you will want to palpate and place a dot at the ASIS, the center of the kneecap, and the tibial tuberosity to measure the Q angle. When ready, click on the Q angle underneath the mannequin's right foot and this will zoom the picture in and change the mouse arrow to a crosshair. Now we always click from the top down so we'll click on the ASIS point first and then we'll click on the center of the kneecap and next click on the tub tibial tuberosity this generates the Q angle for the right side Then to do the other side we click on the Q angle button underneath the mannequin's left foot and again that zooms us in now if your picture is too large to see all of the dots at once you can use the scroll bars that appear at the bottom and at the side to uh, move the image even if you need to make a click you can still go over to a scroll bar and move the image and it will not count as an additional click. So here we will make a click at the ASIS, another click at the center of the kneecap, and again the third click at the tibial tuberosity. Now after the Q angle is measured you can save the exam just as a regular posture exam you can also print a quick report by clicking on the print button. This will generate a quick report that shows the person's Q angle results in the top part of the screen and the bottom part of the screen shows a special Q angle quick report with this really nice skeletal ring showing the angles that were generated and showing a little bar that shows safe zones, caution zones, and danger zones uh, as part of the exam. And of course you can print this. This type of bottom part of the report will also print in a regular posture exam if you uh, have enabled the Q angle part of that report. For additional information about the importance of the Q angle, please refer to the uh, Posture Pro instruction manual.